Yeah, bingo! Oh, as long as he's coming on the boat, yeah! How about we kick off this fishing trip with a good old chuckle? My Range Rover is broken down once again. <laughs> uh, it's the running joke on the South Florida Fishing Channel. But I got the electric bike. We're gonna hop on that and we're gonna drive to Dan's house. And we're doing something that y'all have been begging for. The Alamorada Humps. And we're gonna catch live bait, go to the humps. Am I going to crash? Most certainly. The heck? It's not doing it. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lord. We're going to get ourselves some drinks. Boom, baby. You know I can't help myself. Give me a Red Bull. Mm. Just want a normal coffee. Hello. Uh, what? Card. All right. Thank you. Can I get that double bag, actually, since yeah. I'm on a bike? <laughs> Which is it for? Uh, it's like 1300 bucks. Good yeah, scoot around town. It works pretty perfect. And take it off-roading too. It goes like 24, I think. I wish I went a little faster, but. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. Oh Lord. Woo wee, and we're off. I feel like I'm, I could joust somebody. The next biker that comes along, I should joust them. Ungar! Yeah, I am definitely going to die. I'd say there's a good chance I'm about to become a roadkill. Woo! Hey man. What up? What I made it without dying. That was a reckless ride over here though, I tell you what. Oh dang, you're uh, milk tissels? Yeah, but something's eating my, my, my uh, caterpillars. There's that whole bunch of caterpillars and now they're gone. Something ate your caterpillars? Yeah, see, there's all Damn. these caterpillars eating. And now all my caterpillars are gone. So I'm like, what the fuck, something's eating them. Because see, see these? All those are like You need to like stay ones. out here in a blind with a little, yeah, 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 no. with a little BB gun. You're ready to take out the culprit. Monarch butterfly. Damn. I got tomato plants. All right, so what do you think today? Trolling? Value? I'm thinking like drifting live baits. Okay. More than Perfect. trolling. What we're doing now is driving around the mangroves here in Key Largo, and we are looking for schools of pilchards. You'll see them swimming around. Thousands of them, if they're thick, but once we find them, we'll throw some chum out, try to get the pilchards next to the boat because they love chum and they'll go wherever the chum is. Chum till they come, as they say. And then Dan is going to throw a cast net on them. And then we're going to have lots of live bait. Sailing, sailing. <laughs> Where's those dang baits at? I don't see any pilchards. All right, I guess we'll keep on looking. All right, we found some pilchards. Dan is loading up the net like a true professional and we got a little bit of chum. So we got some chum out here. The chum will bring the pilchards right to the boat. You can already, I don't know if you can see them, but they're down there, I see them. Oh, look at that. Sink, sink, sink. You got some. Yeah, I think you got some. I don't see them. There's gotta be some in there. There's gotta be some in there. Are you kidding me? Wait, not a single one? No. How is that even possible? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so well, all right. I guess you're just gonna have to get wet, gonna get Dan. Wet. You're gonna get wet. Right, give me another shot. All right. And they just weren't thick enough. I mean, 
Isn't that open? That was, that was way open. I can always try to throw it too, but that is only for comedic effect because that ain't gonna open. <laughs> the damn thing open. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, it opened perfect for you. Oh, you see them all right there? I do see them. <laughs> hey, shake it, shake it over. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, right. I mean, you got it right I over them. You got it over. Oh, there's, there's a couple in there. Couple on, yeah. Maybe let it. Or I don't know. Two. You got like a, yeah, but not a, a half a dozen. I think we'll we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. All right. A couple. Dan says they're in the corner. You see them? There's a lot of them. In oh, you're. Oh my. Tarpon. <gasps> tarpon. Oh my god. Pushed up against the side. Here, ready? No, straight up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. Look at them over there. To your just to your immediate right. Oh right. yeah. Maybe they'll start eating this stuff. I just threw some chum at them. They just have to find it. Dan, one perfect cast on those yeah. and we might be done. Yeah. yeah, Carson told me these guys at the mangroves are super stubborn. Oh look at them tarpon. Oh, and they weren't interested in the chum, huh? Oh, isn't that weird? Oh, if you could somehow get it in there, oh. I'm worried about getting hung up. If I get, if this thing gets hung up on the mango, we're screwed. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's so many pilchards in there. Look, the tarpon are. Yeah, we're pushing them right in. I got some chum. Hold on. Hey, you got a. There's a good little chunky in there. Oh. Hey, that's like over, that's like 20 in there maybe. Yeah, some juicy pilchards. Dan got some, ooh, got some pilchards. Got some pilchards. Ooh wee, yeah, nice, nice. We're not catching crazy numbers, but persistence. We will. are persistent. Ooh yeah, that was a good throw. Oh, I think you got a lot. Oh, baby. Damn, feel them. Feel them. Okay. Oh, there's big ones in there. Okay. Yes. Those are big. Those are the big ones. Oh. Got them pilchards on deck. Oh, yeah. Look at all of our juicy morsels in there. How many do you think we got in there? Like 100, 200? I would say probably, yeah, probably about 100 and a half. So. Yeah, 150. We also have some in that live well right there. We got a couple live wells full of pilchards and now we are gonna head offshore right out of here out of Key Largo. And we're gonna head all the way out to the Isla Morada Humps, the infamous Isla Morada Humps, where you can catch mahi, tuna, wahoo. I even caught a mutton snapper there. Grouper, all sorts of stuff. It's about a 20, 20 mile run from here, from shore. And we're gonna see y'all out there. There's bait here. Bait swimming around. We have a big weed line it, that we saw while we were heading offshore. And you know, anytime you ever see a weed line, you gotta go check it out. Holy beautiful. I just realized I don't even have a hook on my rod if, if something happened. Here, I'm gonna throw a couple of pilchards out. Okay. Let's see what happens to them. What happened to my pilchard? I don't know. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that's where the pilchard went. I was like, I threw him, but he's... No mahi here. Onwards to the humps. We are at the humps in 500 feet of water. Time to get some live baits ready. We're gonna do some live baits and vertical jigging at the same time. I'm gonna use a beautiful J hook for these live pilchards. The live bait hook. You know where to get it. You know what to do. Live bait hook. These are our new jigs right here. They're actually available for sale already. You'll be able to buy them. Yeah, you're the ugly jig. And they're glow in the dark uh, hooks on them. I need that ring splitter. <laughs> You can have a thousand dollar pair of lines. Don't have the rings for it. It was worthless. This is them. Our brand new, the ugliest jigs money can buy. But look, we got an eyeball on them. A nice, oh, you got a nice eyeball. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we're changing the glue so they're a little bit prettier but right now they're ugly but i truly believe that the uglier your jig the bigger the fish there it is look at this look at that look at the eye on that yeah the eye with all the glue yep. stuck to it guarantee you catch more fish today than i do it is a nice looking jig it's lead colored all right the vertical jig we got on some 30 pound leader and we will jig that, but first we'll put down a live bait. All right, we're gonna do uh, two jigs and some live bait. Yep, perfect. We're gonna position ourselves up current of the humps, and that way we we will drift over the humps and we'll have a live bait down, we'll have a live bait on the top, and then we'll be vertical jigging with these two rods. Dan has the super pretty vertical jig. But you know what? The pretty the pretty girls do catch nice fish once in a while. But the ugly girls catch nice fish consistently. That's the one you want. I'm going to catch me the juiciest pilchard of the lot. Yeah! Wow, I got three ugly ones. I'm going to hook them right through the nose. Pilchard on the live bait J-hook. Chuck them out. And then I have a little loop. I have like 40 feet of, thir of 30 pound mono. And then where that goes to the braid, I got a little loop where I attach my weight, 12 ounce weight. Shazam! I've, it's been a while, I feel like, since we've used live bait at the humps. It's probably been like three, four years since we've done this. That's crazy. I just, I'm wondering if the pilchard can survive a drop that deep. Cause that's like 400 feet it's still dropping. I could just picture it, all my line getting tangled on the way down. Oh, I'm on the bottom. I actually hit the bottom. All right, I'll put that in the rod holder and now we just wait for that rod to bend over. Now for the fun part, vertical jigging. We'll see what catches a fish first. I'm on my way down. Let's see if we can hit the bottom first. All right, all right. we both got vertical jigs going down. 435. If we see tuna flare up on those guys, we're in the yeah, money zone. They're right there too. Fish on, bro. You got a fish on? If not, I got the bottom. We got some serious waves here. The island rod of hump waves. I think Dan's got the bottom or something. Come on, Dan, bring up that rock. Oh, these waves are crazy. Okay, Dan broke off. Very unfortunate. Onwards we go. The humps are dead is the word on this street. Damn it. Where's the fish now? All right, we left the island rod of humps and we went to shallower water. We're in like a hundred feet of water now. And we're gonna drift some live baits over some reefy bottom. Do a little bit of vertical jigging. I got a real good feeling about it. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Of course he is. working again. Yes. No, he came off. Drop it back. Drop it back. Uh, that felt like a tuna. It was shaking its head real crazy. Oh, baby, they could be them 25 pounders. We should have a pilchard, a live one out. Yeah, I'm gonna put a pilchard. But we should maybe reap. Well, damn. This whole area is just super fishy. Yeah. Oh, we are marking, marking a lot of fish. I see him down there. We need a live bait down. Damn. That guy is screaming over there. What did he just shoot? Probably a big AP. Ooh, he's still screaming. <laughs> I wanna see it. Come on, buddy, show it to us. Is that a Wahoo? Oh, she's lifting it up. Oh my God, that's a Wahoo. Holy shit, it could be a king. That is so epic. Dan's on, Dan's got a fish on. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm jigging on the wrong side of the boat. What? No, that's definitely a Wahoo or they wouldn't be screaming like that. <laughs> Dude, that might be that might be my buddy. That is definitely a wahoo. That is 100 percent a wahoo. That is so funny. All right, I don't know why I haven't put a live bait down yet. I'm slacking. We're gonna send down a live pilchard too. Send down live pilchard on the reef. All right, live bait is down. We're marking a lot of them. Here, I'll throw some some liveies out too. Oh. Oh, baby. Yes, fish on the live bait. Live bait on the bottom. Nice. Oh, welcome, man. Welcome. He's taking a line? 
Yeah. What do we have down here? Nice. A yellow jack. Right. Oh wait. Blue runner. That is a big blue runner. <laughs> Bait right there. Damn! Big old blue runner. Send him down for a wahoo. He perfect sight. Oh. Perfect sight. Oh. There. <laughs> what? That fish. Uh, how happy he is. He's so happy. I wonder why. He's probably laughing at me. Damn. <laughs> All right. We got another live bait on the bottom. We're marking a lot of fish. Dan's vertical jigging. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Wow. Yeah, man. Oh, that, I had a feeling that was you, man. Just by the way you're screaming. Hell yeah. Oh, of course I bring up a tangle. Oh. <laughs> I can't, man, I can't with this. Yeah, sometimes with Wahoo, it's easiest is to shoot them. <laughs> Our buddy over there said there's Wahoo everywhere, so now we're gonna put on the J-hook stinger tips with a live pilcher, and we're gonna drift over this wreck, and hopefully a Wahoo <laughs> will eat this thing. <laughs> and we just pray that this will hold a Wahoo. <laughs> I'm putting the chum bag out. Throw your pilchard out. <laughs> Get a nice fat juicy pilchard. Oh. oh, I can't cast with the swivel. That's annoying. All right, that's all good. All good. Not all good. Damn it. <laughs> all right, my pilchard's swimming off. And I'll throw some liveys out there too. Yeah, so then when the fish hits it, it goes into free spool so it can take it and swim off. Oh, he could have. <laughs> oh, he's on. We were just about to say, let's move. Yep, I was. And then we hit the net. Uh oh, that could be the big W. Uh, He's a W right there. They're coming to the top, baby. Already? He had a good run there. Yeah, get ready. You're going to have to move that way. And then... Okay, here's the weight. Oh, baby. I think that might be a king. Or is that a wahoo? Oh, or is that a barracuda? Uh, no, that's a king. That's a king. Oh, baby. All right. This is going on the smoker. He's not done yet. <laughs> yeah, bingo. Oh, as long as he's coming on the boat. Oh, yeah. Woo! Nice kingfish! Nice. There we go. On this live bait stinger tip. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well done. Heck yeah. They gotta be what 32 inches? I don't know. I will look it up. I'm not sure, but I bet you that's what we had before. 24 inches. Oh he's he's 24. Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. All right, well done. Man, he wasn't getting off that little J hook either. I can I can't get it off. I'm gonna just let him have it. Oh, that was awesome. Nice nice. I want to get a really big one. 30 pounder, 40 pounder. Yeah, I say we just do that drift again. If we want, what I was gonna say earlier, if we wanted to be really dirty, I'm gonna put on a fresh stinger tip, a fresh one. Bingo, baby. I think I could handle a king or a wahoo. If a wahoo bit this. I think so. Yeah, as long as you don't get cut off, I think you guys lose. All right. He's bled out nicely. Woo-wee. That looks like some fish dip to me. I'll probably eat him for dinner since I don't have a car. Can't get to the grocery store. You got three cars. You got three. It's not like you don't well, have it. I got three cars, got but three cars. none of them work. The minivan works, but I lost the keys to it. Oh, I found a big bait. I and I lost. Oh, there he is. No, there he's gone. Where'd he go? Wait, stop moving! <laughs> no, I had him at God. Why are fish so slippery? All right, another live pilchard going out. All right, you, you got a pilchard up top? All right, I'll throw some freebies out to get him excited. <laughs> Come on, I want another kingfish. Catch another kingfish, I'm gonna drink a beer. And while we wait for the live bait to get bit, I will send down a vertical jig. He's looking at the other's bird. He's not even looking at the fish. He's looking at the bird. 
Oh. Fish on on the weedless squid rig. Oh, you're on two up there. Okay, we got fish on the feathers. On the sunset troll. These are definitely tuna. Or bone. They could be bones. Right? Yeah. They're probably bonitas. Yeah, mine's not that big. Bonita? Bonitas. But they can't resist can't them resist feathers. Them you know what? Actually, if we trolled... Oh my. <laughs> if we put these over the wreck, we would catch Oahu for yeah. sure. It would have to do it live though. I don't know if they'll stay alive in there, but maybe. For a couple minutes. Well, now what do we do? Wow, that was bloody. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, God. All right. He's taking off. Oh, yeah. All right. Live Bonita out on this stinger rig. That is going to cause mayhem. Come on. Something grabbed that Bonita. All that, all that motion down there, like Oahu probably is going to look at that and be like, like why is that Bonita look? Fresh Looks so troubled. <laughs> yeah, sir, are you troubled? That was 100% Oahu. Oh, shit. Where did it break? Holy smokes. Oh, right when I stopped recording too. That was unfortunate. It broke it the braid. That was something very promising. What the heck? We're back at Dan's house. Just got the boat up on the lift, and after we caught, or after we got that big hookup on the live Bonita, which I turned my GoPro off right before we got the hit, so I wasn't on video, but we decided to run home after that, and now we're gonna clean the boat. I'm gonna clean the kingfish. I'm gonna go home. We're gonna throw it on the grill. Oh, baby. Ooh, wee. I'm just gonna straight up stake him. Probably like right here. Oh yeah. Put it right in the bag just like that. Got our bag of ice. Now I have a journey home. Hopefully I don't become a spot on the side of the pavement. All right, I'm off. All right, man, give me a uh, shot tomorrow. Let me yeah, know tomorrow will be a fun day. Yep. Adios. Whee! All right, driving home full speed. It's about a two mile drive. I made it back to the house in one piece and we got our kingfish in here. I'm gonna take the steaks out and here I got some melted butter and my friend Ryan showed me this recipe and it's one of my favorite ways to eat kingfish. You got to try it if you haven't tried it first. Get yourself some garlic and onion um, seasoning. If you go to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com, you can get our very own garlic and onion seasoning, which we make right here in Florida. We use good ingredients and it's super delicious. So that is going to be our seasoning. Pull out the steaks. We're going to dry our steaks off and we'll give them a nice seasoning with garlic and onion on both sides, of course. This right here is the rest of the kingfish fillets, which I got in a salt water and brown sugar brine, which I'll keep these in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow I'm gonna smoke these for some smoked kingfish, which is one of my favorite things to eat with a nice piece of butter on a toast of bread. Ooh, with a cup of coffee. Oh man, you want it? That, that's like the best breakfast 
that you can get. You know, that's the kind of stuff that keep you going. But I'm not going to show that in this video. I do have a bunch of other videos where I make some really good smoked kingfish, so check those out um, on my channel. But yes, let's get to the exciting stuff. Let's bring this out to the grill. All right, this is my Traeger grill. I got it going as hot as it possibly can because Traeger grills don't get like super hot. And we're gonna put the fish right on there. And now the key is constantly at the butter. You do not wanna let kingfish dry out or it's gonna get just dry. So add the butter, flip it, add the butter to that side. I think I'm gonna need more butter. Okay, that was a half a stick of butter and I am running low. So I am going to melt the other half stick of butter. The key is to every like minute, put more butter on it because you do not want it to dry out. Flip. And butter. I think they're looking pretty good. I'll do one last little final douse of butter. Mo butter, mo better. Smells fabulous. Check it out. I got the camera set up and we gonna give these bad boys a try. Oh, I can't fit through here. Yikes, that's a tight squeeze. I don't have any plates, so I'm just gonna eat right off of this cutting board. Check out our bad little boys here. How do you know if they're done? Take your fork and see if it stabs right through, and it did. <laughs> um, you do not eat the skin, so you just, oh wow. It, it smells perfect, it looks perfect. Big bite right there. It's actually a very firm fish. For being, since it's a, like a mackerel, it's a very firm fish. Kingfish steaks are just amazing. But here's the secret. You gotta eat the steaks the day you catch the, the kingfish. Maybe you can get away, like if you keep the kingfish on ice overnight and cook it the next day, that's fine too. But anything after that, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't, You like you wanna throw kingfish on the grill, it's gotta be fresh kingfish in my opinion, from my experiences. If I can't cook it fresh, and it's like two, three days old, I'll just uh, brine it and smoke it, and then make like some fish dip or just eat it smoked, and then it's excellent. Wow, I mean, look at all that protein. I've, it's so good. Also, when you're grilling it, do what I did. Make sure you're constantly basking it with butter, or else it'll dry out, because this right here is extremely juicy. It's flaky, it's juicy, and the butter will help you get there. Mmm, all right. Thank you, Dan, for taking me out on your boat. If you don't know, Dan also has a YouTube channel, South, uh, wait, Florida Fishing Couple is his channel. I almost said my own channel, South Florida Fishing Channel. But, oh, one more thing. How do I look, by the way? Oh, I look a little crazy, don't I? Um, if you want to support the South Florida Fishing Channel, get go get yourself. These are the stinger tips that we use today for the, the pilchards. When the kingfish and the wahoo are around, you want to add a little piece of metal or a barracuda or there's so many toothy fish out there. If you start getting bit off, put a stinger tip on. Or if you got a bigger bait like a speedo, a ballyhoo, 
or in our case, a Bonita, you can use a Stinger rig, which is a J-hook in the front, and then you can get a J-hook or a treble hook in the back, and you hook it through the nose, and then you put the, the Stinger in the back of the fish. There's the normal size ones, and then we also have the extra large ones. If you're using a live Bonita, use the extra large. But if you're using something smaller, like a Speedo, then you wanna use just the regular size Stinger rigs. Or not a Speedo, a, a Bonita. Not a Bonita, a Ballyhoo. A Ballyhoo would be a normal Stinger. A, a Speedo, I'd probably put an extra large on there. And when we started trolling, don't forget the weedless squid rig. The, the Bonita love these, the Tuna love these. I've even had a subscriber tell me they caught a Wahoo on one of these. I have yet to accomplish something like that. But, yep. Oh, of course, also our line of seasonings, all on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. It would mean so much to me if you guys head over to that site and uh, purchase some of our things so I can keep making videos like this. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching to the end. Cheers. Cheers.